How many hours of recording you got on that? Can you uh, get on? Oh, an enormous number of bites of this, that, and the other. I can't yeah. quite recall, but yeah, no, we're all right. Okay, here we are on Easter Monday, and um, I- I'm delighted to have been invited into Tony's home. And I th- is, and um, Tony, if you if you want to say your uh, date of birth, that's up to you. Twentieth um, um, of go. January, nineteen thirty-seven. Thank you, sir. And um, your your first. So I'll follow the, the questions on the list, but by all means, wander from the point of view. So, um, what, what what was your first connection to Rob Brown? Well, as a child, actually, from about the age of uh, four, because uh, with my sister and, and uh, also my father, we used to walk uh, over through to uh, Robert Fields and then up on to uh, the Common. And uh, we also used to come across and picnic in uh, Robert Fields, just at the top of the footpath, before you joined the, what was then the allotments, because the allotments extended uh, over the two fields, uh, not, not the one um, oh, know, right. which it is now, yes, right. all the way along there. In fact, if you were to go over there now, you, you're bound to find the odd apple tree. I know that right. there. Uh, you're bound to, I would have thought, still find the odd clump of uh, rhubarb. Certainly one of my clumps of rhubarb, up the allotment, came from there. Uh, various things uh, like that. So we used to go up, uh, the chaps working on the garden were to my mind then very old chaps as they seem to be yeah. uh, now but um, and then we used to sort of the 1940 41 42 period we used to walk on up through and uh, onto the common because that was a famous playground but of course it was exciting particularly on uh, Sundays because uh, you had the home guard up there uh, oh, nice. doing a little bit of exercise nice. um, which uh, was always good to watch yeah. uh, and uh, well, it was just then your freedom to roam in this area, this side of the canal, was just a wonderful part to uh, roam. But of course, at that moment, I used to live at the, uh, the top side of the town overlooking the uh, Sled Valley, and so uh, I had the world up there and uh, the world down here. Right, brilliant. Thank you. So, um, the, the, the allotments then, did they, um, did they extend uh, in, the, in the lower part of the field or the upper part of the field where the pavilion is now? I, I, the lower I'm part a- across, where, the f- where they come up through the rubber fields, the footpath comes across to where uh, we are above the um, estate and you could carry straight on up and the allotments were all to the right of that. So if you go to the present day allotments and instead of going into the allotments you follow the footpath up to the playing fields, right. that was all allotments on the left hand side there. Oh, okay. okay. But, but the, the allotments on the right hand side were still... They were still yeah. there, yes. Yeah. And well worked. worked. Uh, yeah, I'm going to phone somebody called Mr. Loosely in Oak Ridge. I think he knows when the um, when the allotments first came into being in Robbrook. Does so he? That'll, that'll be quite interesting. Yeah, um, so I'll find that out in a day or two. That would be. So quite a, uh, a large question here, as it were. Um, how do you think Robra has changed over your time here, and how is Robra different in 2009? So just let your, your mind well, go Well, it's tremendous. In, in, it's, it's the housing, essentially. You can still walk down... Uh, to the uh, canal, and it's it is the same as when I was um, a child, really. Uh, so that has hardly uh, changed. Uh, the actual robber fields, when you come up into them, thank God they haven't changed. But then, when you start going north, no south, isn't it? Um, southwest then uh, that's where the uh, changes have occurred because I used to roam all the way up through those fields when uh, I was um, a youngster right up to when they started uh, building over on the estate there and um, it was a shortcut for me because I had uh, relations who lived over at uh, Lightpill and uh, so I could just whip straight down to the canal, under the arches, up through the fields, drop over the hill and down into uh, visit my auntie in that. Right. So I'm still like that. So that, that, it's the building that has yeah. uh, changed mostly. Uh, and also the declining, uh, there are no shops uh, really yeah. in Robber now, you've just got the one in the uh, Bath Road. Yeah. The co-op disappeared, which is a, a, a sad thing. And of course there's a massive decline in the uh, pubs. I always used to admire the workers who would come up from uh, Daniels or Aeronoids and had a walk home. I was trying to calculate, but I reckon they, some of them, if, particularly if they lived over at uh, Buttero, 
they could have sort of 12 points before they got home, <laughs> you know, low to lower, with just one, one point in each yeah. uh, pub. But um, they uh, disappeared. Uh, and what else? Well, things like cattle roaming around in the houses and that, uh, even when the building started over uh, at, above Lightpale, the fields there, uh, cattle used to roam them off the common, and it okay. wasn't until the 60s, right. late 60s, that uh, cattle grid started to be right. uh, put in. Okay. I knew that to be an absolute pain because uh, one time I was a Liberal councillor, well, I was independent, went under the Liberal banner for uh, Rob, and that uh, used to be one of the uh, banes of my life. Right. Can you get these ca cows out of yeah. my garden? And it was difficult to explain to people that you had to fence cows out, not the farmer, fence them in, because it was common land, you see. Right, very, right. very difficult. Yeah, and yeah. a nightmare for people, especially as they built these estates with open fronts. Yeah. And you couldn't put fences up. And that was as recent as the 60s, that's that right? That was, yes, yes. Yeah. Fascinating. So, um, you, you were telling me of, uh, you, you, you've got a good recall on many of the things on the Robber timeline, and, and there's one that you can't quite place in terms of time, but a particular tragedy in the area that nobody's talked about so far, apart, apart from yourself. So. Yeah, that's interesting, actually. And I'm, I'm quite surprised that uh, no one has mentioned it, but uh, it's the, the barn over in the Robber Fields at the end, the barn that was at the, in Robber Fields at the end of the Robber Avenue. Um, it was used as a hay store, m mostly. Uh, occasionally the farmer did put uh, cows in. But it was a good place if you were playing in the rubber fields just to nip in and see um, you know, what it was like. It was a dare more than anything because you were always worried about going into other people's property. Mm. And um, uh, sadly, some uh, children got in there and lit some loose hay in that and the place just went up. And uh, I honestly can't remember there was two who died or just one, but it was uh, tragic at the time. Try not to ask me the date of it because uh, I just mm. can't remember no. it. it. Was I would have thought mm, late fifties, something like see. that. Okay, well, this is a bit of a move on from that particular mm. tragedy. Um, are there any uh, any um, happier memories of Robert that you'd like to go to on the time? Oh line, yeah, or? well, all the happy memories, of course, is being um, one a child, the childhood memories of uh, playing robber, uh, playing on the common, uh, one little sad thing, a personal thing, not great though, but my father um, brought me back from uh, Argentina, uh, two revolvers like cowboys in the holsters, All right, yeah. and uh, went up on the common and uh, playing around where the dew ponds were, because there was old water there, that's right. where Baden-Powell uh, trees were planted. Uh, uh, playing around there, one of the holsters went flying through the air into the dew pond. Even though I paddled into the coma oh and what right. have you, never got it back. So up there, buried somewhere, is a leather holster which uh, originated in um, Argentina. Oh right. so, that's Very a good. <laughs> pleasant sort of memory. But it was the picnics and going with other people, um, even walking uh, with uh, sort of uh, girls as one did when one got a little bit older. Taking dogs. I, I did a lot of dog walking up there because we always used to have. Uh, dogs uh, and the picnics particularly the picnics in the wartime because that was fabulous just going up you could run all the way down the fields when you look at the bottom of the rubber field you've got the sort of the two dips there always used to be in September the oxide daisies and it used to be just a fabulous place to run around